So here we have the pod of the locust treat. And we're going to break it open to get the seeds out. And I use a spoon to help me instead of a knife because I would surely cut myself. And so any method you can to dig the seed out. And you would end up with these. Which you would then put into a container. And pour near boiling water over them. Just the first time. And then you would let that cool and you just wait. Some days. Uh, I guess that varies, but I think it was about a week or so. But I would start to see that the seeds would get really fat and then some of them would even float so when that happened I knew that they were ready I did a kind of an experiment these were just seeds without boiling water and these were seeds with boiling water you can't really see them but there's a big difference this one is actually already sprouted inside the water and it's definitely a lot fatter kind of like a tick when it <laughs> when it gets on the dog and drinks a lot of blood and so <laughs> when it's like that then you would just you would have your soil prepared and make a little mm -hmm. hole and put it in sideways cover it up and continue to give it water until it sprouts so this is uh, one that's already been around for a few weeks and it's it started with these two leaves and now it's coming up with them um, with a third so that's exciting and I'll show you later when they grow but I think it's going to be kind of a slow process they're not particularly fast growing trees so we'll have to wait uh, one thing I didn't mention is that you can take this part and grind it into a flower which you can use, it's really sweet, and you can use it for baking. We put it into breads and, and cookies and things, so it looked like a little bit like this. And another fun thing, if you have dogs, would be to be generous, and we're gonna let our special invite out. Titi! <laughs> And they're really happy. They really like to eat these. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and humans as well. <laughs> okay, have fun. <laughs>